Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this, obviously you can see from the title, this is the Division 2 First impression. So, um, yeah, first things first, all these games are starting to feel a bit samey. These loot games, but it's kind of a case of finding the diamond in the rough. Uh, so yeah, the Division 2, the closest comparison I'm going to make with this game is going to be Anthem, because it's the one I've been playing. And I can tell you now, the, my main gripe with Anthem, other than like their broken loot systems and stuff, is the, the end game content. There's about three things to do. And you know yourself, like, you play through this, what? It's probably not even that long of a campaign, it's probably like a four hour campaign. There's oh, the if you were to do everything uh, in the end game like or all the end game stuff like once, it probably wouldn't even take that long. It might take like three hours, and yeah. that's kind of sad. I, obviously, I'm exaggerating, but yeah. So the division two, I want to call it a realistic third person shooter. So compared to Anthem, where you're in Iron Man suits, you're literally this soldier in this post-apocalyptic. America so yeah from what we played in the beta um, the division are these crew of good guys who are looking to restore America to its former self I believe uh, so essentially just trying to fix my headset there's I'm not sure what the actual backstory I didn't play the first one but anyway, you run through missions, you do all these things really into America, like we went and got the the independence thing, the bit of paper, and the mission was sick, the enemies are crazy, so you've got your normal set of enemies, you've got like guys with melee with their electric charges coming out, you've got juggernauts, you've got all that stuff, and then you kind of loot them to upgrade your gear, and there's loads of gear, like you're talking from shoes and socks, knee pads, trousers, Armor, yeah, under armor, armor something for your neck, something for your head. It literally, it's crazy how much customization there is in it. And then uh, there's these like it's your typical Ubisoft fashion. So open world, you could run around, you could see these group of NPCs that are like we're going out scavenging. You could go with them, for example, uh, do that kind of thing, help them get supplies for the camp. You can then upgrade the different camp sorry they're called settlements so you can upgrade their different settlements around the map there's dark zones which is like full pvp area that's another thing that's missing from anthem so you and your team could go into the dark zone it's higher loot i believe um but obviously you could get killed by other user control players um I'm going to be buying the game, so if that's uh, uh, that's a key to uh, we'll, like, you to telling you if I liked it or not. It's not a case of, right. well, it's a case of the two buy most games, door, but we'll the, the gunplay and everything's really good. The uh, cover system and everything, once you got used to it, it's yeah, really good. Uh, obviously, my PC's a bit on steroids now, but it seemed to run really well. Plus, my friend Will, who's running it on a 750 Ti, said that it was sweet as well. So, it's pretty good. Uh, when I'm streaming and recording, my RAM gets uh, destroyed, but that's, uh, that's a different issue. That's a PC issue for me, only having 16 gigs. Um, let's see what. Yeah, oh, let's see rank? what I've written down here. Yeah, I've been down quite a lot about it, but I just kind of want to make. I don't want to make this one of these like videos where you just. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Yeah, that as well. So yeah, that yes, this, uh, cooperation. Really that's one of the key ones, things we really like. So. Yeah, the, uh, the really encourages team that play. That's what we liked about it. Just running around. Okay, you go left. I'll go right. We'll try and like pincer these guys. Okay, uh, well, can you throw down your alt here? So, different specials, speci special equipment. So, for example, my character, which you'll see in the video at some point, throws a mini like, machine gun, which targets people and shit. So, for example, we could have been 
being attacked from three locations, so straight in front, left and right. So I threw my turret down right in the middle to take the front, and then we'll go either way, or, or if we have more teammates and there's more of an area, throw down the turret, it'll literally, it does count as a person for however long it takes. Uh, it lasts for long enough, or it can be destroyed by enemies, so it's an interesting one. I'll say if you're being pushed back and you throw it randomly in the middle of a load of enemies, it's not going to last for very long. But um, it's still pretty good, like so. That's a good thing. Um, I feel like we are meant to go that way. Well, we're saying that he's not going to buy it, but that's because it costs yeah, money. Um, it's it is a full price game as well, so you expect loads of content from it. And obviously, Ubisoft, the division, they're not new. This isn't something new, which is really good. Uh, it is an R open world RPG game, uh, fading in towards the MMO style. Um, you've got your main level and your power level. I'm not sure what they call it in um, the Division Two, but uh, yeah, it's a really good game. I do recommend uh, checking out more footage on it. I'll uh, be uploading this video talking about first impressions as well as uh, a mission where we go and get the. State of Independence. Oh, Why can yeah. I remember what that's called? But yeah, guys, yeah, uh, I I really like the game. I'm going to be buying the game, and yeah, if anyone else is getting it on PC, yeah, please let me know, and I'll uh, get you Adam. We'll jump on it at some point. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.